Well, hello and welcome. Um, I've now got a small review for you um, after receiving the new um, 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, with four Thunderbolt ports and the touch bar. Everybody has been doing a lot of um, video comparisons using the 15 inch that obviously has the built in um, discrete GPU where I'm now going to use it with the actual built-in graphics using the Intel Iris 550. Um, basically what I'm going to do is compare the rendering of 4K in both Adobe Premiere and in Apple's Final Cut Pro. Um, and I'll get back to you. So what I've done here is I've opened Final Cut Pro and inside Final Cut Pro I've changed the preferences. So the background render is off, so it's not starting any render. Uh, dropped a 4K file straight in. As you can see, it's 4K, 30 frames a second. And let me see if I can scrub through. Start wherever we want. No dropped frames. Play back. Switch quite easy between everything, and it all works really well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop a colour. I'm going to drop a colour correction on top, and then go into the colour board and boost the global saturation by 20%. And then I'm going to render this out. So what I'm going to do. Render this is H24 just so I can do it on Think ProRes is what I usually send it out as, but H24 should be okay. Um, it's going to be 2.2 gigabytes. Oh lord, in 4K, and then we'll all get in quick time clear when it comes out. So I'm going to do it, I'm going to start my timer. And I'm going to go. And what happens is it's starting here, starting the sharing process. <coughs> and let's see how fast it can go. And what I'll do is I'll come back uh, when it's nearly finished. Okay, so here we are back and uh, it has taken um, a grand total of five minutes twenty eight sorry five minutes twenty eight seconds um, to process this. And I'm absolutely great at that for a clip itself it is four minutes and twenty five seconds long. Um, all in four K. So that's not too bad at all. Um, now we'll move on to Premiere. So here we are in Premiere. Uh, Premiere Pro CC of 2017, I think it is, clusters. Uh, about Premiere 2017. Yeah. And all we're going to do is we're going to import the same media file into this and then we're going to place it on the timeline so we've now got a new file and what we're going to do is actually just going to make sure and scrub and as you can see when we move to another frame and play there's a little delay but not too much and 
here we can see now we're playing and we are getting a lot of dropped frames. Um, doesn't seem at all um, very good. I'll try it at a 16th playback. And it's usable. Not very. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop some effects on it. Um, I'm going to do. Let's see, do a color. So we'll do a saturation. So uh, that's not giving us what we want. So I'll go that. Don't think I can get rid of the colour bonds. It's got nothing on it. Let's see if we can do a saturation. Situation. We'll do a brightness and contrast. I'll draw the brightness on. We'll increase the brightness by a little bit and then we'll output this. Let's see if we can export it. Preset, and we've got a four K. What a YouTube four K. That should be okay. Um, it's slightly bigger than four K, actually. And we will get the. Sorry, we'll get the um, we'll get the, so five minutes twenty two was for what and we will export this and see how long it takes. And we'll give you a shout when we come back. I hope that's not a Sign of things to come. Um, as it's taking thirty five minutes, but we'll see. So, yeah, I've come back and um, we are thirty seven percent into it, and we're only nineteen minutes, nineteen minutes gone. So as you can see, 19 minutes and 40% done. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop it there and obviously accept that whilst this could be done. It's obviously not the best setup to be processing. So will it process 4K? Yes. Is it ideal? No. Um, would I recommend you using Premiere Pro on this machine? Yes. If you weren't uh, having an issue or you weren't doing a big, big project, um, would I recommend Final Cut, Final Cut Pro? Absolutely brilliant. Works with the Mac so well. Fantastic. No issues. I'm going to cancel that. Cancel that. And quit Premiere Pro. So I'll speak to you later um, with a little bit of a summary. So in summary, what we have is um, the results here, which are quite clear that using this setup, that uh, Final Cut Pro uh, is far streets ahead of a Premiere Pro. Um, this is obviously due to the um, nice 
relationship that Mac have with their software and hardware integration. Um, so on the 13 inch MacBook Pro 2016, I highly recommend uh, people use Final Cut Pro, um, which will give them a far, far better rendering. Um, any questions, leave them below. Thank you.